this coach and this man. All right? And I was able to apply that when I came here to the Toronto Raptors, where I built the first analytical model that, and I still teach. This will be my ninth year. The NBA called me nine years ago and said, get off your ass and come help us train these former players and we're going to coach you. The analytical model is based off what you call a constant number. You'll hear people say, well, half the games are won and half of them are lost, but they don't define it as 1,320. So in my model, I took the top one, the top, the winners of the 1,320 games of the NBA, and we only studied them. We never watched the film, paid any attention to losing teams. Wow. Because if we practiced every day to be destructive on winning teams, we'd be destroyed by losing teams. Wow. No one in the history of the NBA has ever taken a team from less than 20 wins to the playoffs in 18 months outside of your Toronto Raptors. We took the Raptor in building our culture off the jersey and we put Toronto because it would embrace the culture of the community instead of people thinking of Jurassic Park. All right? <laughs> when I left the Raptors, they had to pay me for a while and I didn't want to leave the person that I had met and married. And so, and I didn't want to leave because there was an offset, but I went to work for someone else. I had to repay them, like the hell with that. So I bought a little company at Oakville. I ran to the patent office. I have six patents on the air conditioned controller in all cars. It's called a linear power model. It was invented in Canada, right? By a crossover Canadian, all right? By the time GM went in bankruptcy in 2014, we had manufactured 14 million of them with a failure rate of less than three per million. Anything under 100 would have been classified as world class. I have bought car dealerships, restructured the balance sheet, and I think, you know, when you say what transitions, this is what transitions. Business is not church, right? In my lifetime, I have a total of four sons, and they know, and I've prepared them, that in my life I've seen at least six recessions. All right? And the problem for Canadians in a recession is that it's more dramatic because 